Hey everyone, just giving a quick little tip video here on how to get your author information in search results. What you're really trying to do here is get your WordPress website. Now I'm working with WordPress and your Google Plus account hooked up and connected. So you can look like this guy over here. And I think mainly this is all being done so that the actual authors in blog articles are being assigned to being the originator as opposed to other people trying to grab other people's articles. Now, it gets a little tricky uh, with some of the steps because what you've got to do is hook up your Google Plus account. So uh, I'm looking a bit special today. I want to change my photo eventually. I'm looking a little bit more overweight than I should as well, which is a shame. But some of the mistakes that are coming up with connecting your Google Plus account to your website, and in my case, it's uh, Media Race. Okay, so I'm trying to get Media Race all hooked up. Now, I've done all kinds of things to try to do that. Number one, I'll just give you an overview and then we'll go into it. I've added my little Google Plus up the top here on the home page. Down the bottom, I've also added up the Find Me on Google Plus little link down the bottom. So when I click on that in my website, it goes to here. Now, really important, this spelling of my name is absolutely identical to my blog. I'll go back a step. So all my blog articles are consistent in the spelling of my name. So I could go into here, for example, and you can see the spelling of my name is exactly identical. So it's not Johnny, it's not JP, it's John and the full surname Pelagides on the end there. So guys, that's what you need to do. Now, to do this stuff really quickly and easily, I've gone and used WordPress author sure show your face build your brand and essentially this gentleman here um, makes it a lot easier for all of this to happen so I've downloaded that and I manually installed it but look just download it and install it like you normally would and in you go to your plugin uh, sorry, your settings. So look, here it is here. You're going to go into your plugins and there it is. So AuthorSure is activated. And then I'm going to go through the settings for this to give you an idea of what to do. First step, I've actually clicked on Author Box. This is the author indicator. Um, I've gone with this option. Choose this option if you want to show the author photo and bio after each post and you saw that little photo of me and my name next to it. Now I can also fill in a biography down the bottom there, but essentially I've got author and that's mainly for Google. Um, so I think Google had two options to choose from uh, to assign yourself. And one of them is that you have to show that you are the author and that's very important. So you're verifying authorship and uh, that's pretty critical. I'm trying to read where they last had it. I mean, there's so much clicking around and I, I know you guys have gone through this yourselves. Uh, like, here we go, this is the bit I was looking for. For example, by and then Stephen Levy. I chose this, author. So I, I, I literally went with that. And then of course my name comes in after. So that's that's there. That's what that is. Photo size is 60, that's default. Your gravatar, avatar, you click on this, okay? And this is if you haven't got a gravatar yet, just open it in a new tab so you can see where it goes. But this is where you'll log in. Now I already have a wordpress.com profile. So your gravatar is associated with your wordpress.com. Okay, not the manually installed hosted version that you've got on your own website. 
Um, and then of course you just go ahead and fix that up. So I can actually go into my account um, and I think I just click on this and go from what I, uh, my gravatar, sorry about that guys, I'm delaying around here. And I actually clicked out of that because I used to use this and I'll delete these two eventually. I'll cl click that one, remove this forever and it's gone uh, and that'll vanish. But that's the one that's chosen. Okay. Um, and you'll do the same. You'll have to upload a nice little face photo and it's practically like you're taking a photo for a, um, what's it called? A you know passport photo, but even I'm a little bit off center there. So you can't actually have half a face. Uh, I've used black and white. I probably should have stuck with color. And generally speaking, you can't be too creative here. It's your face and it's as simple as that. So this is actually causing some problems for people as well if their face pick isn't properly. And so that means your little pet cats and whatnot are out of there. They cannot be used as your gravatar. So pets and animals are gone. You are in there. So get used to the idea of having your little face uh, popping around the internet. Now that's that one. So that's that step. Then what you've got to do is I've just decided to hide on the pages, um, hide on the front page and yeah, so I've just left those settings. They were by default. We'll go down one step further. Uh, I've chosen for this one, uh, AuthorShore Archive Settings. Um, I just click this uh, bottom, choose this option to have the author credit appear at the bottom of category tag archive pages. I'm yet to see what that's actually doing, but um, you know, look, I just click that and I don't know, I'm, I've just put that in there. I'm, I'm, it will look a certain way. And obviously it's, it's really claiming a lot of your, your work. So that's what I've done with that. This here is your Google page. Now, if I go back to my Google page, just in case you don't know how to get this number, uh, let's just hope I've got myself up here. It's this number here. So just make sure you're grabbing that and only that. So essentially you're gonna grab from about I think you can still grab that forward slash, but you don't want to grab anything else other than essentially it should have your plus.google.com, the number with your forward slashes in place and the HTTPS with the colon. That is where that comes from. So that's where you stick that on in there. And I have left the forward slash on the end of that. Um, for the author page settings, um, I've got here, these settings control how your author pages link back to Google. You may need to tweak the settings here depending on your WordPress themes. Now, I think my WordPress theme is a little bit old. It's not one that's been updated for the new version of WordPress and all the stuff that's going on with Google+. But essentially, I've selected the smaller pics here, uh, find more about me on, and I've chosen these settings here but this is I think the author page where there seems to be now a new author page but unfortunately like I said my template theme doesn't have an author page I don't think I'm not sure I could be wrong and um, but you should find that newer themes that get updated regularly will have this and this will be set up better so sorry if I'm not uh, explaining that clearly I've left this as it is here, um, and I've left that as it is as well. I made sure I saved the changes, and that's how that went ahead. Okay, so just to give you a heads up, you're gonna end up using this webmaster tool, which comes from here. This is what you'll end up clicking to, um, to go to it. So basically, you're gonna click here, and you're gonna type in your website. So let's do that now anyway. So www.mediaace.com.au and I've got to throw an E in there. Okay, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna preview this. I've already done this already, but let's just see what happens. I'm gonna take you through some of the steps as well. So like I said, AuthorSure really just does help um, kind of get through this stuff a little quicker. Another thing I had to play around with was I had to go into this theme, it's Catalyst, and I, like I said, it doesn't seem to have an author page set. Um, where I went into one of the um, 
let's go into the widgets. And in that footer section that I showed you earlier, this is what I typed in to get this sorted. This gets a little bit tricky, but this, this is very important. And I'll show you in a second where it comes from. Let's, let's actually show you where it comes from. You'll, you'll get what's going on. This is what I did here. I just had to do this as a step. Set up authorship by linking your content to Google Plus profile. So create a link to your Google Plus profile from your web page. So I decided, well, a footer is as good as any um, like this. So I actually just copied all that. And this is what I ended up having to do. This is where it gets a bit tricky. I think this isn't really helping everyone. So let me show you what I did and this seemed to have worked. First thing you've got to do, obviously, is cut and paste that. So you'll cut and paste that into here. Now I've gone and doubled up and put this in front, R-E-L equals author in two little quotation marks. Now, the next thing I did was press enter so that this sat on its own line. And as you can see, it's basically all of your um, Google Plus account and on the end of it has got a question mark and REL equals author. And then that sits in the two quotation marks. Very important that they are the proper quotation marks, HTML style. And then I've gone and put, I've pressed enter here because otherwise if you've got something sitting there. It seems to split it up. So I just went and pressed enter and then I've got find me on Google plus and that there, I save it of course. And that's the bit that appears at the bottom of the website. And it seems to clear up quite a bit of problems there. And that's, that's what that was there in the footer, okay? Now, that cleared up quite a bit. Um, and it gave me, it seemed to have cleared up this bit. It seemed to just establish that this is all now uh, authorship for the web page. Obviously, I made sure that the spelling of my name was consistent in the, um, byline so the byline was the same look I've just done a, I just did a sample here just to see what was going on I just did a quick little um, thing here but this byline is the same as my um, name so that cleared up a lot of problems as well it got rid of a lot of few little things that were going on now publisher markup is very verified for this page and there's a couple of these items here where they're fixed by making sure that you go to your contributor section. So this is the link, contributor to. So anytime you're contributing to a website, and I'll edit that, and I'll, I'll show you how it's done. Basically, I've got the name, which is Media Ace, and I've got the HTTP is there. Now, if you've got multiple sites, you'll keep doing that and making sure that the byline at the end of each post is the same exact identical name. So no more little changes of your name anymore. It's pretty much showing that your name is consistent in the byline with the Google Plus account. So that's what you've got to connect up as well, because this is what Google will check, that you have the contributor to Media Ace, and of course, that you'll save that. Add everything else, of course, any YouTube stuff that you've got and any other bits and pieces. Uh, but that's gonna be very important to fix up these issues here. So let's have a look. Link direct from website to Google Plus profile. So we did that. Um, and we did that with the bottom of this. Uh, let's go back to the home page. So that was that link back. And that's on the bottom there. There it is. We've got the other bit here. Um, publisher markup is verified. So linked. Google Plus page, so um, and of course we've got public contributor to link from Google Plus profile to Media. So you saw what I showed you before. Yeah, it's it's a bit of finicking around. I know, guys. And I, I do apologize. I'm not as polished as I should be, but that's where that comes in. The contributor to, so that fixed that bit there. Um, the one that was really giving me grief. And I, I mean, look, this is easy. You just authorship email verification. You're going to grab your Google. Um, this information obviously comes straight from here. So it's all of that. So you're going to throw that in there. Now, 
that will then verify. Uh, now, the real issue is it seems to be showing automatically detected author name on web page and it says not found. But if I actually go to here, and a few guys have said this, uh, if we actually go to this item here and go to visit authorship, let's just check that. We visit authorship and this bit here, link your Google Plus profile to the content that you create, so obviously your website. If I actually put in my uh, email, john at mediaace.com.au, if I put that in there, you go sign up for authorship. It says here that email and domain have already been verified for authorship. So guys, I don't know, it seems to me that it's, it's actually failing on a few of us. Some of us are trying to fix this and not getting anywhere and I haven't been able to fix it yet. So it seems like it's actually working even though it's showing that it's not. So a couple of things here, authorship testing result, if we just go over it, Google Plus profile link, uh, it's established. Google Plus profile name is consistent. So I told you that consistency earlier. And it's got authorship can be explicitly established via two primary methods, the email verification and or REL author markup, which is in that link that I showed you before as well. So guys, that should help. As I said, that's coming from the Gravatar, so everything's going through okay. And um, linked Google Plus page. And I mean, there was so many steps to go through, but hopefully that's kind of getting you what needs to be happening from the contributor and obviously what the website does. But like I said, if you go into here, you will find another thing I had to do as well before I forget is the contact page. Um, had to be linked as well. So I'll go into pages and I'll show you quickly the contact page. And that one there is here. And I had to put in the email address. So, um, which generally speaking, you don't want to do, but um, that's it there. Okay. So that's where that ended up. So this actually also had to appear to get that verification. So look, that's the way it works. Um, and that's how I had to set it up. So guys, hopefully that helps you all and it kind of fixes up a few of those finicky problems that are coming up. Look, just leave a comment. Maybe someone can get clever and help us a little bit further, but that seems to be where it's at in terms of linking your Google Plus account with your website. Thanks for watching.